Ashlyn at Five Minute Drummer, and, and we're going to be tackling the guitar solo into verse two. So it should be a lot of fun. And if you're getting value out of these lessons, go ahead and hit the bell, subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you're liking about it, what's working for you, what's not working for you, because I want to continue, but I need your feedback so I know uh, what you need. Um, so let's tackle this. The guitar solo is four measures long, and the, ba the backbone of this is just that bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, with open hi-hat and a nice fat crash on the top of the whole thing. And the fourth measure is that fill. So all together you have this. to verse one except for as in there's three musical phrases and if you haven't checked out verse one go ahead and click the link somewhere above and if you don't know how to play that fill from the solo check out the lesson uh, the introduction lesson because that's where you're going to learn to play that fill so verse three is three musical phrases each phrase well the first two are six measures long nearly identical and the third one has a little sh change in the groove so the first phrase is, uh, like I said, six measures long, and it sounds like this. Uh, the first four measures are bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. The fifth, me fifth measure goes bass, snare, bass, snare. And the sixth measure goes back bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Of course, there's other things happening, and I'll show you what those are. One, two, three. measures long and it does basically the same exact thing there's a little something a little nuance in this uh, phrase that is just a little like gallopy thing on the hi-hat next phrase is the same bass snare bass bass snare for four times fifth time bass snare bass snare six measure bass snare bass bass snare and uh, no crash on the top of the whole thing. So it'll sound like this. And the second measure is where that little hi-hat thing comes in. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. So the third verse is actually only five measures long and it has a new groove in it which um, sounds like this and so basically what you're doing is bass you're going one two three and four with eighth notes on the hi-hat and if you haven't played a 16th note in between on the snare um, then uh, you can basically just break this groove down in b1 b2 and then b3 b4 so b1 b2 one and up. And so you can go right left to get that 16th note in there. One and two and up three. And then you have three and four. Three and four and. So three and four and is the second half. Put the two together. One and two and up three and four and. So you're going to do that two times. And then the third measure, you go bass, snare, bass, snare with crashes, and then fourth measure, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, fifth measure, bass, snare, bass, snare, crashes, and that's the whole phrase, third phrase that leads us into the next part. So it sounds like this. signature change and so this is identical to the first verse it's four measures long the fourth measure has a little fill where you do four strokes over 
one uh, eighth note or one half a beat, and um, it'll sound like this. One, two, three. Is slightly open through this whole section so just make sure you give, give it a little go there and then we're moving into bridge two so if you enjoyed this lesson go ahead and subscribe um, if there's something that you didn't know that I referenced go ahead and look in uh, the playlist of all of the other videos that help you learn this song and it'll probably be in one of those videos for you so take care and I will see you at the next lesson